Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. It's great to see everybody again. And uh, here we are with Michelle Fabrica, our love coach, and John Coleman, my partner. <laughs> a partner and a love coach. What a great combination, the three of us together again. Uh, uh, Michelle, <laughs> my wife and I were at the mall the other day. And we have a little phrase we use called young love. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it, when we see a couple being affectionate, whether it's a young couple or an older couple, we just call it young love because mm -hmm. if it's if it's a young couple and they're being affectionate, making out in the middle of the mall, um, it is young love, right? But if it's an older couple being maybe a little too overtly affectionate, we make it's almost like making fun of it, calling oh it's young love. Like don't they know how old they are? You know, come on, get with it, gang. But it it made me think about public affection and here we are pretty much making fun of it but really there isn't enough of it i mean people ought to be more affectionate with each other uh in public i guess it's a matter of degrees you know we're not what, what what's yeah. your opinion yeah yeah well i i love this topic because i i just think that i mean like you said and i believe it i mean our world would be a better place if we were all more affectionate with each other, if we all shared more love. I mean, you know, obviously consensually, we don't want to be uh, going up to strangers and everything, but but just to be, you know, if you're with someone that you care about, you're with a friend, you're with your partner, it's like, why is it not okay? And I think we have, um, I know when I was growing up, there was kind of like, you don't do that kind of thing in public. There was like kind of a prohibition against it. And so I, I invite people to look at, you know, why is something not okay in public? And I'm not talking about, you know, overt, you know, making out, groping, crazy. But, um, I mean, people do that, too, in public, obviously. But but I'm talking about even just, you know, an arm around someone, snuggling close to somebody, um, hugging them from, you know, you know, bear hug from behind, whatever. And it's just interesting that um, to look at why is it not okay? Like, what what is our discomfort with it? And even when you shared in this just a moment ago in the intro, like, you were kind of like, noticing you're maybe teasing the older couple. Why is it not okay for people in act two to be just as affectionate as young people in love? I mean, it's like, dang, it's not, I think it ought to be like a free world to, for people to express themselves that way if that's what they want to do. And obviously both people need to feel comfortable with it, right? Yeah. I, but I don't know what it is that makes us uncomfortable watching certain displays of affection and um, not not being uncomfortable with others um, and why the age matters. I don't, I can't tell you that, but. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my sense is that, and, and I don't know if this is true for you, but the, w one of the things that it's kind of, I've gotten over for myself more is just to have a lot less judgment about other people and just appreciate everybody's uniqueness and beauty size, shape, race, race, ethnicity, you know, uh, sexual orientation, and just to like have more love and acceptance. So it's almost like, you know, I think when I was younger, I'd be like, oh, well that, those two people I think are attractive. So yeah, I want to see them kissing each other or, you know, holding each, you know, hugging or something like that. But those people, I don't think, it's just like, why? Like, who am I to say what's okay for other people to do? And anyway, this was a, you know, a younger, me who used to have more judgments and thankfully i've gotten i i mean i probably still have some in there but i'm always working to get let go of those because i want to be freer to just enjoy uh life just as it's served up and my fellow humans in the in this in this world so that's one thought i have about so that. who yeah. knew that michelle fabrica would be now promoting a return to the Woodstock generation. <laughs> You're not even old enough to have done anything except read about it. Our flower <laughs> child. Right, you can't even lie about the fact, well, I was there. Because yeah. <laughs> you're not old enough. Yeah. We can yeah. lie about that, but I wasn't there. I... Now, John, John, John looks like a Woodstocker. Did you have your VW? We had a VW bus for a while, but uh, we never went to Woodstock. Yeah, the summer of love in San Francisco. That's that's where oh, it's at. That's for yeah. you. It's interesting because I don't think this phenomenon is a generational uh, phenomenon. I think 
um, all ages. You, you called it. You, I think you hit the nail on the head. with judgmental. We're judging um, other people for whatever it is they're doing, um, and we, when we judge somebody, we're really not putting ourselves in their shoes. You know, oh, I would never do that. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't do that. You know. So I think you're right about affection and love. Um, we need more of it in the world. So let's celebrate it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and obviously, I want people to you know not um, like I said. I think a couple needs to have a conversation about that. I and mean, if you're a new couple and you're going to meet family and friends for the first time, have a conversation. Geez, is it okay if I put my arm around you? Or oh gosh, you know, not not the first time we meet. Or you know, you're a, a widower and you're dating someone new and you're invited whatever there's situations where you want to be you know maybe ease into it right maybe yeah. not the first time you meet significant family or friends of this person that you're getting to know but but I even like the whole um you know seeing that it's okay for you know people of this age and not this age it's just i don't know i, I just think that i i, I want to invite people to look at what it what why they're holding back i guess right and i used to think Oh, well, you have to obviously, you know, the least common denominator, if one person doesn't want it and the other person does, then you just have to not, not be um, affectionate in public. And it's like, well, you know, I've, we've talked about the love languages and some people's, you know, touch is their main love language. And I mean, I wouldn't want to, personally, I wouldn't want to go to like a long gathering, you know, some big family event for three, four hours or whatever, and not be able to touch my partner. I mean, that would be... Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah. so you know, what I mean? so I guess it's like trying to help people stretch into their comfort zone a little, or stretch out of their comfort zone. Excuse me, of what's going to be okay, and you know, if you know your if your kids say, "Gee, you know, get a room," you know, okay, maybe it's a little too much, but <laughs> but I mean, if you're just being affectionate, I think it's it's so sweet. I mean, I get I get really a lot of joy when I see people of any age, especially frankly older couples who are affectionate with each other. It's like. I love that. I love that people are keeping the spark alive at all ages. So, yeah. Well, since you're, so you, when, and, you and Dave are a long way away from being older, an older couple, but obviously you and Dave have had this conversation or don't need it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes my kids have comments to make. So I'm Dave will like pick me up, you know, when we're in public and it's, it's just like, it just, it's just being playful, you know? So, um, I like it. I like it. And, um, and holding hands, it's just like, it's kind of a simple thing, but it's like, I don't know, it reminds me of like being a kid. And um, I think it's good to stay in touch with that or yeah. being a teenager, you know, staying in touch with that, those parts of ourselves, because they're all in here, you know, they're just, um, they're all part of us if, if we can access them. Exactly. Exactly. And they should be for till the end of life. That's great. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.